In this video, we'll be looking at calculations, in particular, moles. Now, here's a few things to remember. We need to keep in mind how to calculate the MR. And to do this, we can always use a periodic table. And we have a previous lesson on how to do this. Don't forget, you're always allowed a calculator, and this goes for all of your science exams at GCSE. This particular calculation is only going to be for higher and triple students only. Right, so starting off, a mole is just the given number of atoms, ions, or molecules. Essentially, it's just a given number of things within an area. So for example, if a pair stands for two and a dozen is 12, well, one mole is 6.022 times 10 to the power of 23. And we call this Avogadro's constant. And you do need to know this number it's not given to you in the test. For example, if I had one mole of potassium, I'd have 6.022 times 10 to the power of 23 atoms. If I had one mole of oxygen, well, I'd have the same amount, but in molecules. One mole of donuts, well, that's also gonna be 6.022 times 10 to the power of 23 donuts. Just to put it in perspective, that's this many donuts. Now, before we look at calculating moles, we're gonna have a quick refresh on MR. Here's oxygen, O2, which has two oxygen atoms. Each oxygen atom has a mass of 16, therefore the MR is 32. Another example, here's sodium chloride, where it has one sodium, one chlorine, and their relative masses. We just add them up for an MR of 58.5. And then one final recap, magnesium nitrate. We have one magnesium, two nitrogens and six oxygens. We multiply by the relevant masses, giving us a total MR of 148. Here's two for you to try yourself. Take the next minute to work out their relevant MRs. Here's the answer to those questions. Okay, now that we've had a refresh on MR, this is the formula we're going to need for working out moles, where moles is going to equal mass divided by MR. Mass is always measured in grams, and the units for moles is mole, M-O-L. Okay, let's try use this formula in an example. So this example, calculate the number of moles in 23 grams of sodium. Well, first thing I need to do is work out the MR of sodium. Na, we have one sodium, so it has an MR of 23. And then we just input the numbers into our formula, where moles is 23 grams divided by the MR of 23 to give us one mole. Here's another example. Calculate the number of moles in 12.5 grams of sodium. Again, from the previous example, we know that sodium has an MR of 23. And we just input our values again into that formula, where we have 12.5 grams divided by 23. In this case, giving us 0 0.5 moles. Right, one more example. Calculate the number of moles in 15.2 grams of aluminium nitrate. 
Now, you'll almost always be given the formula of the thing they want the moles of. In this case, aluminium nitrate is AlNO3-3. And by using our rules to work out MR, we have an MR of 213. And it's just as simple as inputting again the numbers into the formula, where moles is going to equal mass over MR, in this case 15.2 grams, divided by 213, to give us 0 0.071 moles. Right, here are four questions for you to try yourself. The formula that you'll need is in the top right hand corner. Take the next three minutes to work through these questions. And if you need more time, just pause the video. And if you finish early, just skip ahead. Here's the answers to those questions. Right, now we've had a look at working out moles. In the test, you may also be asked to work out the mass using both moles and MR. To do that, we need to rearrange our original formula. So we want to make mass the subject. To do that, we need to move MR to the left-hand side of the equals. We're currently dividing by MR. So to do this, we do the inverse. So I multiply each side by MR. And now that we've made mass the subject, we have mass equals MR times moles. Now, whilst you're almost never asked to do this, you can make MR the subject of this formula too. And again, we're going to first do that by moving MR to the other side. And then moving moles to the right hand side by doing the inverse in this case, division. Here's your possible two other formulas. And as I said, you're almost never asked to work out MR. 
using these formulas because you have access to the periodic table. Right, let's try using that new formula. This example, calculate the mass of sodium in 1.8 moles. To do that, we first work out the MR. We have sodium with an MR of 23, and we input our numbers again, where mass equals moles times MR, 1.8 times 23. We have 41.4 grams. Our next example, calculate the mass of aluminium nitrate in 58.7 moles. So the MR of aluminium nitrate is 213. And then we just multiply that by the moles. So mass is 58.7 multiplied by 213 to give us 1.25 times 10 to the power of four. And notice I've written this in standard form. You are always allowed to do this in a test. It saves you writing out all those zeros. Okay, here's four examples for you to try. Once again, take the next three minutes to do these questions. And if you finish early, skip ahead. If you need more time, just pause the video. Here's the answers to those questions. Okay, let's summarize what we've looked at. Moles is a set number of things where these things equals Avogadro's constant, also known as 6.022 times 10 to the power of 23. We need to remember to work out the MR and always, always use a calculator. Lastly, you have to remember this formula. It's not given to you on a test. Right, that's it for this video. And if you have any questions, leave them down below. 
and I'll do my best to get back to you.